All right, part two of this video is gonna be uh, the reassembly of the shocks and then uh, fixing the air box because all those screws come out. So that'll be uh, part two. This is gonna be a two part series. All right, these things have, you know, seen better days. Uh, you know, I'm sure it'll pop back up eventually. You know, ugh. yep, it's pretty good. Maybe it just needs a little bit of, a little time. Maybe a little WD-40 and those things will be good again. Tools for the job, you're gonna need an uh, air hammer with a flat bit. Brand new Sawzall blades, a Sawzall, and a pair of pliers. As you can see here, this is pretty crusty. And they're not gonna come off voluntarily. And up there is no better. So, point of attack. Saws all across here. We're gonna saws all this bolt off and make a relief cut right here and then we'll slide this out. Once you do the bolt, it'll just pop right off. It's gonna be hot, so be careful. And then, uh, that bolts out. You may not see a hole yet because we've got to hit it with the air hammer. I normally do that first to make sure that all the rust and everything's falling off and you don't get any in your eyes. So let's grab the air hammer real fast. There you go. And it's out. Now I know this is all rusted and everything. We are going to be dropping the axle. This, we're just doing it in stages because the mountain is broke over there too. But we need to at least be able to get this thing to come apart. So we want to throw some tack welds just to hold them in place. And we're probably going to put a whole new axle on or fix this one. But anyway, we, we cut this. Now we have to do our relief cut over here on that bolt. And then I'm using a thick blade on the Sawzall, but we're gonna switch to a skinny one for up here. All right, and I should go without mentioning, there's a plate. You wanna go above the plate through the bushing. All right. All right, just a small relief cut. Let's see with the glare. We just put in that, that that's all. We don't need a, a big relief cut, just a small one. So we could start bending the bracket and you'll see how that works. Right, you can see how this blade is pretty thick. This is the new one, it's a lot thinner. So we're gonna use the thin blade. And again, for how much of a hassle this job could be, just buy new blades. I'm doing this one, doing this one handed. So I'm just gonna take you along so you get the gist. All right, so we're cut through, all right? And we're just gonna bend this, okay? So with the bracket, lift up. I'm gonna work it just a little bit. If it breaks, good. But we may have to just rock it. We're gonna rock it off of this. Let me do it two hands, okay? All right, so I rocked it back and forth. In this case, it just broke. This side is a lot worse than the 
other side. Now we're gonna come in with the sawzall again. I'm gonna cut the head of, uh, off of this nut. And then we'll clean all this up as best we can. Again, this is all gonna get fixed at a later date, but I knew this was gonna be a pain in the balls. So, loosening everything up, changing out the hardware now. I'm pretty far through this bolt, so I think all we need is a little tap of the air hammer, and out she'll go. So let's see what happens. We have to have it plugged in, buddy. All right. Take two bloopers. Oh, premature. One-handed is not that easy. Alright, guess we gotta go a little bit more or come in with a pair of, uh, oh it's moving, I see it's moving already. It's one handed deal, it's not that easy. Let's give it a little toot more. Oh. There we go. Alright. So, she's out. Then we'll just, uh, we're gonna tap it underneath with the air hammer and I think out she'll come now is a good time to do the classic rust shakedown ready for it So she's out. Um, I ended up, when I was cutting the bolt on this side, I didn't uh, start low enough. So I only caught the head of the bolt and not the flange. So I ended up doing a couple uh, relief cuts and then um, just prying it out. And then it obviously came right out, no problems. There's still plenty of metal here. I mean, this is all bad. You don't want to fix that. But this is still good. So 